that is an insidious feeling of not being worth more. Most people stay at a certain level of income only because they just can't see themselves earning more. Why is that? I have recently discovered that it is fear. At least it is in my case. Since my abundance has increased significantly to what it was just a couple of years ago, the old rotten programming about wealth is now coming up. I can see this insidious fear of not being worth this much. And more. You see, this is something that may be instilled in you via your environment and your family. But as you level up, this old limiting programming comes back. And as old friends usually churn when you start to do better. Old beliefs must go too. Or you won't push through and stay stuck at a certain level. Fear of wealth is related to comfort zone. We like familiarity. This is why most of us keep our toxic relationships. Because as bad as they are for us, they feel familiar. And so, we stay stuck in a loop of misery that is familiar. And fake sense of safety. This is exactly why we might fear wealth. Because to a man who barely makes ends meet, a million dollars might feel scary. That is why most people who suddenly end up making it big end up losing it. Because they are not prepared for that sudden explosion of wealth. Like most lottery winners. Thus, it is extremely important to recognize this limiting programming and not panic. But to allow fear to exist in your body. It is only when we run away from it that it gets us. The one thing I am now doing more so is thinking about bigger numbers. Big enough so that they make me uncomfortable. That shows me my ceiling value. Of what I think I am worth. It is nothing to be ashamed about. It is just societal programming. Or what we grew up with. For better or worse, we adopt the wealth-related mindset of our parents and the people we are surrounded with. Thus, their fears seep into our unsuspecting pure mind in childhood. But now that you are becoming aware of it, you can allow it to exist but do not believe in it. If you do not think you fear wealth, then try to imagine a lifestyle that is lavish. Try to imagine a monthly income so broad that it makes you uncomfortable. You will see how your body and mind reacts. I have been uncovering a lot of my unconscious assumptions regarding wealth recently. And believe it or not, I have blocked a bunch of my income streams just because I was feeling fear. As to what to do with that money. This subtle panic of anxiety of feeling out of your comfort zone pops out and you can't move. And if you know the law of assumption, then you know that your persistent assumptions become reality. So, the fear if persisted in will harden into fact. But the point is, to become aware of it. As I got caught up in it off guard. But now that I see it, it is so easy to override it. The hardest thing is to uncover your unconscious programming, changing it is the easier part in my opinion. Because it is unconscious, you can't see it. Even if it is right in front of you. And the way to see unconscious programming effectively is to observe your thought throughout the day and practice mindfulness. The moment you see it, it is done for. This fear has stopped me dead in my tracks of various financial decisions, and I was not even aware of it. But now I feel calm, and I know exactly what I want to do, and I am doing it. Simply because now, I can see this fear. It is nothing but the feeling of discomfort. Old programming of not feeling worthy of lavishness. But now it is out in the open, it can't survive. You will feel an insane freedom in your heart the moment you see this fear. And all you need to do is acknowledge its existence and lovingly allow it to be. While well, you put your focus on the love of what you want. Love is the key. If you beat yourself about this fear, you will only strengthen it and put yourself down. So, lovingly allow yourself to feel worthy of a lot. Allow yourself to have more than you need. Feel how it feels to have lavishness. And if fear arises, let it. Allow it, but don't adopt it. Don't adopt the belief that the fear is trying to reinforce. And it will dissipate. Making room for your unlimited abundance. Your mind will begin to notice more and more abundance, and will be able to seize an opportunity when it arises. And if abundance is your aim in life, then let me introduce to you one such opportunity, Masterworks. Masterworks has handed back over $25 million to their users last year and returned millions more just in the last month, even during a banking collapse. Because Masterworks lets you invest in an asset class that is used by billionaires to protect and grow their wealth. You can choose from extremely high-value contemporary artworks from famous artists like Picasso and Banksy to potentially multiply your wealth. Contemporary art's appreciation has been outpacing the S&P 500 for the last 26 years. Yet, S&P 500 is the standard for most common people's investments as it feels familiar. 
With Masterworks, you can invest in high-value art that is a real, hard asset, unlike money in the bank, that is being consumed by inflation every passing day. Well, every one of Masterworks exits to date have returned a profit to their users, with three sales in the last December netting 10, 13, and 35% return. On top of that, Masterworks had two more successful sales just in the last three weeks. This asset class was once exclusive to billionaires like Bezos and Gates. But when you join Masterworks nearly 700,000 users, you don't need millions to diversify your wealth like they do. Masterworks has done so well they even have a wait list, as paintings have sold out in minutes, but you can skip it at the link below. Your future self will thank you if you learn about investing and wealth multiplication now, so don't wait. I felt called to make this video because as an avid student of the law of assumption, I must talk about my failures too. That I brought upon myself by wrong use of the law of assumption. I clearly have been blocking my abundance roots due to fear. As to what to do with it all. Now that you know about it, you can effortlessly prevent it. As I said before, it is harder to detect these limiting beliefs. But it is not hard to change them or override them. To detect these fears, try meditating on the idea that scares you. Like wealth or love. Get into a comfortable position and relax. And meditate on the idea that scares you. And see what kind of thoughts arise. That is when you will see a lot of unconscious rotten programming. No need to change it or reject it. Just see it for what it is. A set of limiting beliefs. And once you see them, you can start to encourage the opposite of them. Suggest to yourself the opposite like an affirmation or just meditate on it at night. And I assure you, your life in that area will change drastically.